Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn a bit about dynamic binding. We've already talked about dynamic binding before when we were talking about the difference between syntactic or lexical scoping and dynamic scoping. Um, dynamic binding is exactly that, is the dynamic scoping. And there is a first class primitive in Racket that allows you to achieve dynamic binding. That is known as a parameter. So we're going to revisit what is exactly dynamic binding. Then we're going to see two use cases where, we, where you would want to use dynamic binding. Hope you have fun today. 